Citizen Television. and welcome to another episode of the Planetary Persuader. I am Cosmic Kev, your host, and welcome to your week beginning with Friday, October 4th. So let's talk about this uh, new moon in Libra. So we have Sun in Libra, Moon in Libra, and the new moon happens at 5.34 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time. So you can adjust that to whatever time schedule you're living in and um, one of the things happening this week is on uh, let's see it looks like hmm on Monday we have Venus moving out of Scorpio into Sagittarius so that happens on relatively early Monday morning not too early but at uh, 10 54 a.m. So just a little bit before 11 so uh, we, we're going to have uh, Venus and Sagittarius. So Venus and Scorpio is very passionate. It's very creative. It's very imaginative. Some would say, "Oh, it's neutralized because it's opposite rulership." I don't really go. I don't really go with that that much because it's a water sign, and I have to look at the characteristics of water, the characteristics of Scorpio, the characteristics of Venus. You put them all together, that's what you got. You know can talk about later on about the other stuff so now we're going to Venus and Sagittarius so what's this is about so we've got Venus and fire sign so you know it's kind of more masculine type of energy coming out of Venus so it's not quite as groovy as a scorpionic Venus this is just my way of looking at it yeah, but it, you know it's Jupiter rule and Jupiter brings expansion and sometimes, you know, Venus and Sagittarius can make us want to overindulge, especially in sweets or alcohol or whatever affects our kidneys, which is kind of like what Venus rules. So, um, you know, what I would say is temperance is a good thing, and also love becomes more of a game in Venus and Sagittarius. You know, there, there's this element of being more of a player. All right, so um, we still have the Saturn and North Node in Scorpio and uh, Mercury there as well. So, and a lot of times when Mercury's in Scorpio, people aren't as direct in speaking their minds. You know, they're withholding information and withholding stuff that could be potentially valuable. And so it's important to be able to negotiate all that. Now, Mars is in Leo, and this is the last full week we have a Mars and Leo, and I think with Mars and Leo it gives us the strength to do things on a grand scale. And um, having a strong will, you know, at times it needs to be tempered too. You need to be able to control your animal in order to be able to make what you're doing positive. But it's, you know, now that Venus is in Sagittarius, we're going to see a more workable relationship with Venus and Mars just because they're both in fire signs right now, even though they're not trying by any means. Um, Jupiter and Cancer, it's important to expand who you know as tribe, Saturn and Scorpio. Be real about death. Be real about sex. Be real about birth. Be real about the stuff that counts, that's deep, that are hidden from most of us because we live in a weird controlling society. And I think that's enough said. You know, we'll talk outer planets later. We're going to go sign by sign right now for your forecast. This week's version of the Planetary Persuasion. 